<sighs> good feelings. There's good feelings all around. Doing some good racing. Won last week. I'm on a I'm on a oh, what a scumbag. I'm on a one race win streak of, on G Fred. <laughs> G Fred wins normally come along like buses. I wait ages for one and then two come along at once, so maybe that's good omens for me for this one, but we'll see. Probably not now that I've said it. I'll be happy for just having some fun. It's what it's all about. Having a bit of fun. He's a scumbag! He's an absolute scumbag! <laughs> Don't skip the run, you scumbags. You'll miss the dad shark, says the subscription notification. Bit late on that one, I think, honestly. The run skippers of uh, the run skippers skipped before I even got off the island. <laughs> it's just it's just us. It's just the hardcore watching right now. <laughs> and then there's the people in the middle who put it on like two times speed or something. All right, dad joke. Here's one. Why didn't the orange win a race? It ran out of juice. That is, that is, um, I mean, it's apt for what we do here, I suppose. Should I talk really quiet, uh, really quiet, really slowly for those people who put it on like double speed on YouTube? Can you understand what I'm saying? I wonder what that sounds like sped up. <laughs> I'm, gonna li I'm probably going to listen to that back when it goes up on YouTube. Just, I need to remember. <laughs> I'm curious how it will actually sound sped up. <laughs> oh, what a scumbag! There's also the sadistic folk who watch at 0.5 speed to make the run even longer. <laughs> yeah, as much as uh, as much as I have. You know, I, I talk down to, to run skippers. I can't blame them too much. Because, yeah, it's not always the most interesting part. But, I mean, it gives you important information, I think. It gives you the context for the race. But, um, yeah, anyone who would want to extend the run. Go. Yes, I stole it. Beautiful. The Saddler Steel in first person. I didn't know what I was doing there either. I just did it. He's still chasing after me to try and get it back. <laughs> oh, good times. I couldn't see what I was doing. I just sort of mashed triangle and hoped. <laughs> what on earth? Oh, what a scumbag! Tell you what, there's ruiners and buffaloes. The buffaloes are pretty good. Orange buffalo as well. Alright, that's not bad. I'll take an orange buffalo. That works for me. The buffalo. <laughs> yeah, this is this one looks very much like blue plus blue. get that reference then uh, and you've been here a while or you've watched some really old obscure stuff on my channel <laughs> all right let's see where we can end up 
it at the highway with a car. See where we finish. I saw it was Master got a really good start. It's normally a pre pretty good. Oh, what a scumbag! G Fred Peddler. In fact, wasn't it Master who I was racing against last week for the lead? It was, wasn't it? Will, will history repeat itself? Why I came that way? Yep, that, I deserve that for going that direction. All right. Thank you guys for the subs again. I'll, I'll read them all after the race, as always. Ooh. And there's seven. Oh, what a scumbag! Forty-two seconds behind. That's a pretty substantial gap, actually. The most obscure videos are Gears, GTA 4, 100% and Driver 3, though, on Bruff's channel. Nah, the most obscure videos are the Rocket League videos. That was a very short-lived series. <laughs> that was so bad. I should never have made videos about it, really. I don't think they were entertaining in the slightest. <laughs> the very early gaming videos are pretty obscure though. That was before anybody watched from like 2006, 2007 when I used to upload random gaming videos. There's a playlist that contains just all those old videos before I started actually doing commentaries in 2012, 2011. 12, I think. A lot of traffic today. A lot of campers. You don't see campers in traffic very often. Oh, what a scumbag! But yeah, the, the Gears of War videos are certainly the uh, least watched, I'm sure. Especially some of the older ones from 2012. That's not the best angle. Oh yeah, okay, that was that was close to going off the edge though. Please, please, please. Oh missed it. Forty two seconds turned into fifty six seconds, so Master's gap has increased. I wonder if he'll get his revenge. What happened to staying on the right? <laughs> um, I wonder if he'll get his revenge from last week. Top five though, that's true. I'll tell you, mate. Top five, not bad. Be happy with a top five. Long way to go yet though, we got chili ad. And to be fair, it doesn't seem yeah. like there's much in the way of good cars. Chiliad could get dicey. Like, I'm not seeing any... Like, the Buffalo is, like, the fastest thing. There's no all-wheel drive cars or... Well, no good one. What the... I'm gonna go check the usual road where decent stuff spawns, but okay, I'm 
making a I'm making a tactical decision. I haven't seen any of these and I feel like if there's nothing else better spawning this could be very helpful the, the, my thought process with this is that I really wasn't confident oh there's someone in a rapid GT there's rapid GT spawning okay never mind with the, the baller then My, my thought process with the ball is that I really wasn't confident about the uh, the buffalo getting up Chiliad. Like, not at all. And I know that from experience. I've had really bad experiences with the buffalo up Chiliad. So my thought was, I'll go for the baller. Because that will definitely get up Chiliad. Oh yeah, there was the comet. I forgot about that comet that I crashed into on the way to the airport. Or out of the airport. Um, but yeah, I thought I would go for the baller because that will definitely get up Chiliad and if if other people have issues with the buffalo up Chiliad then, you know, I'll be in the pound seats. I know the buffalo can make it up Chiliad. It's just, it's very easy for it to go wrong. I was hoping I could roll all the way around, but I couldn't. <laughs> but to be honest, it's all rendered moot anyway. I just lost a little bit of time switching to the baller and then switching to this. I would have been switching to a rapid GT anyway. I'm in a bit of a fight really over a top five now with all those car switches. I think top five is going to be like the aim. It's the best I can go for. I don't think I'm catching certainly the top two. You just can't overtake in the tunnel. Even if you get the run on the train tracks, as soon as you go off offline, you slow down too much. Top five is always possible though. I haven't said that for a while. There's one for the bingo card. Come on, Rapid GT. This hasn't been the best airport to Chiliad um, stint, to be fair. But it's been better. Lost a lot of time changing cars, haven't been the cleanest. Still all to play for though, top 5 is, is well in the game. The win isn't, I think Master's gonna avenge his loss from last week. At least he's in, he's in the right position to do so. Looks like he's got a good gap. The overtake. <laughs> Top of Mount Chiliad overtake. So the top three are definitely gone. But I think top five is still up for grabs. They seem relatively close to each other, that top three, though. So... 
gone well. That's not gone well at all. Not at all. Absolute disaster down Chiliad. <laughs> well, I've also had worse there, I suppose. I've exploded so many times down Chiliad. Could always be worse. Gonna have to be a Hail Mary, I think, for a top five. And other people failing parachutes or not executing the Hail Mary. Hasn't been the cleanest run since the airport. Even before the airport, really. Been a bit of a scruffy G Fred, this one, I think. Not only from me, <laughs> it seems. Oh, train. It's almost like he wasn't looking. <laughs> I think they had to wait as well, so the fight for top five is really on. Rapid GT stock is pretty quick. Too much bump. Yeah, he slowed down there. Nyong. This has been one of those like battling G Freds. Where it's it's not clean. You just you're just trying to make your way through it as best you can and battling at every single situation. I need to learn that line. It's a better line. There's a few different lines that are very small differences, but I need to learn them. I've been saying that for months. There's an explosion. I think that was someone who was in the top five, wasn't it? Oh, we both slowed down. T Kells has also died. He was in the top five. Third place is on. I'm fighting over third now. I really don't like the look of this rapid GT for the Hill Mary. <laughs> oh, do I still do it? It's so damaged. Looks like Master's got this one. Do I take? Oh, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. I'm not doing it. I'm taking the regular line. For the first time in ages, I'm taking the old parachute line. making the smart decision for once. For once. <laughs> Look, I got my, uh, I did my, I did my, I've done so many Hail Marys these days and I did the ultimate Hail Mary trying to defend the lead of the race last week. I think I think it's okay that I don't do it every single time. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Especially in situations where it's probably the better idea not to do it. Second place isn't too far ahead. GG Master dominated.
stay to the right of the bush and end up less than the hard way. Oh, where's second place gone? Tell you what. This is like a blast from the past. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done this line. This could be a second. Oh, just any boy. He's parachuting. He did the, uh, the Hail Mary. Oh, that must have got him a few positions, actually. That's well executed. So it's not going to be a second. I thought it might have been because there might have been a few people swimming. But that's a good Hail Mary. He's going to take that second. GG's on that one. Oh, it was close, though. <laughs> well, I'll take a podium. That'll do me. I had a good run of g Freds lately. I can't complain. I think the Project Homecoming g Fred at the start of the month wasn't great, but I, I, like, I performed well in the later stages or something, from what I can remember. I'll take that. That was a messy podium. It was a, it was a, I don't think I could have won that one. Master was too far out in front. Even if I'd had the cleanest race, he was, he was doing well. And he got a, such a good start getting a car so early. So I think a, a cleaner, better performance would have got me second. So to still get third, despite not having the best performance in the world. That's all right. I'll enjoy that. I'll, I'll take that. It was my best ever performance, only lost a few seconds having to reverse at the airport. 20, 10 to 20 seconds due to back markers on the bridge and then a few due to the spin in the military base. Other than that, it was perfect. Also, I learned the buffalo can make it from one of my one of the community friends. Okay. Yeah, the buffalo can make it up the hot lap line, but you, you, one little bump the wrong way and you're not getting up that last bit and then it's all gone to hell. GG, master. Well done. GG just any boy as well on that uh, Hail Mary to take that second place. That got him a good few positions there. Yeah, gotta say, loving the G Fred spirit on display. I agree. Xavier, is he in last? In the bullet? He is in last. Isn't he? he is absolute stone dead last. St hasn't even made it to the base of Chiliad. Still going. That's the G Fred spirit in full force. That's what we like to see. It's a bit of a baptism of fire, G Fred, sometimes. <laughs> He's giving it a good oh, go, but. Uh, I mean, you can't fault him on the G Fred spirit. As much as you can fault the line he's trying to take up, you can't fault him on the spirit. Still keeping going. <laughs> we still don't have the DNF timer. Nobody wants to finish. Nice, go to the right. Go to the right. This is it. Peel off to the right. Oh, he's going bold. He's going to the left. He got it. He's going to get it. Yes! Come on, Xavier. Oh, I want him to get up to the top of Chiliad before the DNF timer starts now. I want this G-Fred spirit rewarded in some way. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. We believe. 27, next person to finish is going to start the DNF timer. Oh, they're battling for 14th and 15th. Gonna have like, what, 40 seconds to get to the top from now. I think you can do it. I think you can do it. I want to see you hit that checkpoint. 30 seconds. Oh no. Oh no. That's, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Come on. Come on. We believe. We believe. You could, no, that's not gone. No. Come on. Come. That was a, that was a very dead stop. 
That was almost like a controller disconnection. Did his controller disconnect like right at the end? My controller died. <laughs> Isn't that just an absolute bitch, eh? Chief Red can be a mean mistress sometimes. <laughs> a very harsh mistress indeed. Absolutely typical. Well, you've experienced your baptism of fire, Xavier. But you kept that Chief Red spirit, that's what matters. <laughs> oh, unreal.